And now President Mohamed Buhari has met with the free 23 remaining kidnapped train passengers of the March 28, 2022 Abuja Kaduna train attack victims at the Nigerian Defense Academy Hospital in Kaduna. The president visited the hospital to see the victims of the train attack after commissioning 239 cadets of 69 regular course of the Nigerian Defense Academy in Afaka Kaduna State, Northwest Nigeria. Plus TV's correspondent Abila Darufa filed in this report. 28th March was a sad day for many families and Nigerians when terrorists bombed AK-9 rail track carrying over 937 passengers, killing some and abducted 68 victims. It was horrible, difficult situations for victims to spend six months and eight days in terrorist captivity. They were subjected to torture and dehumanizing treatment. The hostages were released in different phases. Speaking on their release in Kaduna, President Buhari commended Nigeria military for their brave services in securing the hostages from Boko Haram terrorists and assured to tackle security challenges confronting the nation. Let me also commend our military. The lead team for our country as the remaining 23 victims of the March 28th Abuja Kaduna train attack were released by the hideous terrorists. This speech was not achieved without our military. And the intervention is Chief of Defense Staff Action Committee, set up by General Leo Erebo, was at the center of the development, along with sister security agency. I say bravo to our soldiers, officers, Gentlemen. Speaking, members of the Chief of Defense Staff Action Committee, led by retired Major General Usman Abdul Kadri, who facilitated the release of the trained victims accompanying the president. Professor Usman Yusuf said the security of the country is the responsibility of the military and civilians, noting that all must play their roles. I've always said security is not the responsibility of the military or security agencies alone. Everybody must come in. And us sitting at home and lamenting and saying, government doesn't do this, government doesn't do this, God Almighty will ask us all, what did you do? That's why we came in. This is our country. This is our people. And that's why we came in to do our part. And we'll continue to do that. The fact that these 23 people are out is not the end of our job. It's not, our deed is not done. There are many more in the hands of these bandits and, and, and Boko Haram all across this country. The president was accompanied by service chief, Senate President Ahmed Lawa, Defense Minister General Salih Magashi, and Cardinal State Governor Malam Nasir Erfai, among others. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.